Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapring Chronicles. Today we have another Harbor Freight purchase for you. Uh, since my name is uh, Snapring Chronicles, I think it's only fitting that I do a Snapring plier uh, review. But before we start with this, uh, if you find this type of content interesting or helpful, could you please give me a like? or uh, could you also subscribe to this channel all right today we have a Quinn as I said snap ring pliers with reversible action reversible action for removing and installing internal and external snap rings the item number on this is six three nine three eight and this has a lifetime lifetime warranty Precision tips with storage pouch. Okay. And where is this made? Right there. It says made in Taiwan. And what else does it say here? Snap ring plies with reversible action. Same stuff as the front. Here's a little bit more of the packaging on the rear. And this is the storage pouch. Mm. It's like this little plastic pouch which has tips and retention screws and a little Allen wrench. Okay, let's take this out. Yeah, I have a... I've been wanting to get a decent pair of uh, snap ring pliers. I've had these for a while. These are also Harbor Freight uh, snap ring pliers. These are the cheaper ones. These uh, go for around $5 at Harbor Freight. But even though they're okay, I find them, they slip kind of uh, a little bit too much than I like. Like like when I'm, I'm digging into uh, the holes in the snap ring and I'm, and I'm, Apply, applying some pressure the tips the tips seem to like slip like in the snap ring and just be like Ksh! so I figured maybe I get something a little bit better quality and I saw this Quinn and this Quinn is uh, this Quinn sells for $15 at Harbor Freight and the kind of interesting thing about this uh, plier is that it's reversing. So here, here it closes the ring, and then you switch it, and here it's opening the ring, and and here it's closing. I mean, yeah, closing the ring, and switch it again, and now it's opening the ring, which is an interesting mechanism. Okay, you're gonna ask, okay, Snapper and Chronicles, why aren't you tearing this tool apart? Why aren't you tearing this down? Because if I tore this down, I would have to make a 50 minute video. I took this apart already, and let me tell you, it's pretty complicated and very finicky. There's uh, switches, levers that lock one way and open another way and there are springs underneath these caps here which are like a little metal uh, what do you call those little metal springs that are wire springs and you have to put the levers in between them and there's like little tiny protrusions on the lever that you have to get in between those those uh, wire springs and it's a nightmare and I wouldn't suggest anybody who doesn't have a lot a lot of patience to take this apart it was it took me like a couple hours to get this back together and working again because of uh, just the complication of it and the small parts which kind of led me to believe is this kind of reliable 
I'm not sure. It's uh, it seems pretty good. I've used it a couple of times already, and um, it seemed uh, it was pretty sturdy and all that. The tips seem pretty good. There are the tips. Here are the the Allen retainers, which uh, you loosen and you take out the tips and. <clears throat> and here's a little packet of tips that come with this come with this plier and it has a set of uh, has a set of 90 degree tips with a very small diameter tip and it has another 90 degree tip which these are these tips are a little bit bigger diameter and in case I guess you strip out those uh, plugs retention plugs they they also give you another set of these retention these retention plugs that go here to hold the tips and here I guess they have a medium this one the one that's on there is large I guess they have a small a small and a medium tip if you need uh, to exchange them and it comes with a little allen wrench, a little tiny, tiny allen wrench to uh, I guess to open up and remove these tips and that's how you remove them and you take the allen wrench and you retighten them and you don't want to put too much torque on these because you know with these little allen wrenches they like to strip out and as you can see here there's a spring in the middle so it springs back and the grips are kind of a rubber a textured rubber here the black part and kind of a smooth plastic on the inside here and it has the words INT I guess interior and exterior for you to switch there so yeah that's about it for this uh, it seems like a decent quality uh, snap ring plier you know it's it, it, it sure does look better than these these kind of inexpensive ones that uh, Harbor Freight has so like I said I haven't used it much I used it a couple of times seems to work pretty good you know if you guys want like a like a medium quality uh, snap ring plier I think this one would be too would be okay like I said uh, if you're really brave you can take this apart and see what's inside I don't suggest it because it's it's a pain it's a real pain to get back together believe me and you know me I love taking things apart and and uh, you see my channel is pretty much dedicated to taking tools apart and this here was uh, something that I wouldn't want to tackle like unless I had like <laughs> a lot of time like it would take me like an hour video to uh, take it apart and then get it back together again well that's about it for now alright guys till next time